USM, U.S. Music Certification Exams is a new exam system um, that I started in cooperation with Conservatory Canada and a bunch of other interested teachers. Uh, you know, there's many exam systems in the world, but we felt that there was a need for an exam that had the American standard and was based on the latest research about teaching and learning, especially as it pertains to technique, ear training, all those kinds of musicianship skills that are so important for our students. So we're working with other teachers. I started a new exam and we're going strong. That's USMZ. There's many exam systems in the world, and of course everyone has strong feelings about their own exams. So I'm not here to criticize or attack other exam programs. I can tell you what, what I think are the strong parts of our exam. Um, our exam goes very slowly from level to level, so each level doesn't jump too much, and that helps the students adjust easily to the new level. Our technique and our, is planned out on the latest research about what's the most natural way to move the human body. So the technique, especially in the early stages, is a little bit different than some other exams, which are more traditional. Especially in what we call oral skills. We teach oral skills based on the latest research about what's the best way to get students to develop their listening. The research says that listening skills are crucially important. So, that's, so those are some of the differences about what, what we're doing in our There's different levels of exams around the world, and every country has a different concept of that. For us, we think it's important in today's world when students have so many activities and so much homework that each level not jump too much between the levels because the research says that if it gets too hard, students will talk, stop taking lessons. So we make our lessons, our levels, relatively gradual. However, we don't require that the student take every level. So some students that are moving faster will, for example, take a grade four and then jump to a grade six. So it's not, we don't require every single level, but if the teacher would like to use that for a tool, it's there. Well, I think teachers always need new ideas. You know, in the world of teaching, we're always giving to students, and it's a lot of work being a good teacher. So we give and we give and we give, and sometimes we don't have access to the latest information and we don't get enough input. So I think a lot of teachers are going to be interested in learning some of these new ideas and in applying them to their teaching. I hope everyone will feel encouraged and energized. That's my intention. Well, I'm really happy to be here in Malaysia. This is my first trip. Well, not really my first trip. I've actually flown through the KL airport, but that doesn't really count, does it? So this is my first trip into real Malaysia, and I've been really enjoyed interacting with the Malaysian teachers on this first visit. I found them very open to new ideas, very well trained. They had a lot of good questions, a lot of good comments. So I, I find myself very energized by these three days of teaching. It was a really positive experience for me. So. I'm optimistic that lots of teachers in Malaysia are going to be interested in our program. And I'm being a little bit selfish because that means I get to come back to Malaysia again and that'll be a lot of fun. So thank you Malaysian teachers, I really enjoyed myself.